we did that because we realised that we simply couldn't successfully deliver these two wildly different genres and their respective audiences within the framework of the web architecture that we've designed that was designed predominantly to deliver general news houses. To properly engage these audiences, we felt that we had to tailor the platforms, and that's what we've done. And the benefits have been huge. So, first of all, where we previously had a single, huge, amorphous audience that we tried to make sense of using uh, qualitative insight, um, we now have two very large and well-defined audience groups that we have a huge amount of detail in. So if you take football, for example, we're at football.com. Um, the platform that we've built that on allows our users to personalise their experience, which is a huge benefit to them, you know, surfing experience. It means for us that we know a huge amount about them. So typically we, we would know gender, club affiliation, location, social demographic profile. And because a lot of these people engage in very relevant quizzes, we actually know a lot more detail about them. Um, and that's the information that's tremendously useful and important to advertisers because it offers an unprecedented level of targeting and it really means that they can tailor their messages. Um, and similarly with 3AM, so 3AM is the celebrity gossip brand that was born in the paper about 10 years ago, but we've moved it out into its own separate platform and created a much more powerful, distinct brand for it online. That platform really allows the brand to live and breathe away from the restrictions of the Daily Mirror brand, which is trusted, safe, family friendly, not the ideal environment for some of today's celebrity gossip. You know, Korea can now, because it's on its own platform, be much more funny, much more risque, much more sarcastic, um, and ultimately much more engaging. Um, and the Korea brand really has come alive online and has reached an audience far beyond the one that we could really have hoped for if I'm asking it um, purely through the Daily Mirror. And again, commercial opportunities are far clearer and more abundant and attractive than ever before in Korea. We started to put together some advertising solutions, one of them I'll, I'll show you in a moment, um, that are genuinely interesting, genuinely engaging, and genuinely relevant. So the example that I've got is on a video here. So just quickly show it to you now. The background to this actually is that six months in to launching Korea, so about six months ago, we did um, a big focus group study of our users and we got a lot of qualitative insight from that, but one of them stood out head and shoulders above all the others, and that was that a huge percentage of our readers, 3 a.m. fans, listen to music while they're, while they're browsing. And a decent chunk of those people said that they find a 3 a.m. music recommendation engine are useful. So we set about trying to speak to a few music labels, and we literally didn't get past our first one. We knocked on Universal Music Store. They, at the time, were looking to promote their vast back catalogue. Um, and so between us, we created a brand new section for AM Jukebox, which is a free, on-demand music service that fulfilled both a consumer need, but also an advertising demand. And it's a great example of how with a bit of thought, and by utilising new technology, advertising can genuinely become useful and relevant part of the content proposition. For this, we didn't do it ourselves. We worked with a great technology company called Rockerbox Media. Um, they've developed this neat piece of advertising technology that really drives engagement around video content. Um, and in this case, the video content is actually the advertising as well. So I'll show you through. So this is the featured artist of the day. Advertising on 